Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport. Today is episode number 17. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Right, so we're going to do the uh, medium power open now. This is open to production cars having less than 299 kilowatts. Our car has 293 at the moment, but we've upgraded every single bit of handling to make sure it handles the best as possible starting off with road atlanta sunset peninsula infield blue mountains raceway fun uh silverstone and then finishing off at test track infield two which is the reverse route road atlanta we got this oh my god this thing's got acceleration so it's the question of whether it's got speed elsewhere. Is this Wilkinson? I don't know. No, it's not. Not bad. This Ferrari is very nice, actually, to drive. Lovely big kit. Oh, shit. I've just remembered. After this, we actually move on to the championships. And that is when hell begins. Because I think uh, if you... I'm not 100% sure how the percentage and the completion works for this. For championships. But we, we basically got aim to get first in every single event. And if we don't get first in every single event, we're fucked. Because obviously to get 100% requires us to get first in every single event. That is our goal for this walkthrough. It's to 100% the game. Get every race event with gold. Silver is not good enough for us. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. There we go, lovely. Uh. Keep it on the track. Keep it on the track. Keep it on the track. It's actually going to be quite cool to start. I, th I think more, personally for me, I think Forza Motorsport 3 is the one I'm most excited about. Just because of the fact, like... It is the game changer of the franchise. Because if you think, Forza Motorsport 3 is the one where they added first person camera. It's the one where they added proper engine sounds. It's the one where they added um, a large majority of events. Uh, it's the one where they added rewind. And then Motorsport 4 was the one where they added special events, cool challenges that mixed it up a bit. Uh, Motorsport 4 also added um, Forza Vista, and that was it. It's a really tough choice as to which game is best in the franchise. I, th I think 4, Motorsport 4, is definitely my favourite, but again, it's a really tough choice to choose from. Ha 
Hey, don't forget, if you're uh, watching this on uh, YouTube, make sure to go to the the uh, homepage on my channel and uh, add all of the videos that are on the upcoming videos playlist. Make sure to set reminders for them. Because that way you'll be notified when the videos get premiered live on YouTube. Yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> and also for anyone on Twitch as well, do the same thing. <laughs> Let your friends know. If you're in a Forza group chat, let them all know what we're doing. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh. Bum 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 Oh there we go, six minutes and five seconds, twenty-five grand, not bad. Alright, let's get cracking. Let's get cracking around Sunset Peninsula infield. So if there are anyone on uh, YouTube watching this in the future. Yo inertial D, what's up? Welcome. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, so for anyone on uh, watching this on YouTube when the video comes out, um, I've just explained to my Twitch chat that I'm trying to hit a thousand followers on Twitch and that I'm going to do like a 12 slash 24 hour live stream. Streaming all the Forza games and everything when um, if we hit that goal. As like a 1,000 follower celebration, which would be awesome. <laughs> but uh, yeah, welcome Inertial D How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day And uh, if you don't mind me asking How did you uh, find my Twitch channel today? Oh, I really like this track actually <laughs> Sunset Peninsula is I think has been in every Forza game Up to 4 And then for Forza 5 They just sort of got rid of it but, um, no one is streaming Forza Motorsport. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I'm trying to go through every single Forza game, so Forza Motorsport <laughs> is the first one to go through. Um, which I believe is going to take about a month and a half, so I didn't see your channel. I saw the category. It said your viewer count. <laughs> Fair enough. Awesome. Well, uh, I appreciate it. I appreciate the follow. Yeah, so, um... For anyone who doesn't know, my name is Mechanic CG. I like car games. I like Forza. And, uh... I've tasked myself to complete all of these games in, um... I've given myself a three-year goal to get it done in three years, but the only goal is really to complete it. I used to run this game with one of those 180-degree wheels. Oh, my God. Did they actually have racing wheels on the original Xbox? I don't know. It just doesn't seem like a system that I thought would be that developed as being, like, the first Xbox ever. I tried to drift, got it. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. 
I remember having a, um, it was a 270 degree wheel. So it went not quite um, to the bottom, but yeah, 270 degrees. And I had one of them on my Xbox 360 and that was amazing. But it, after about three months, I actually played quite a bit of Forza Motorsport 3 with it. But um, after about three months or so, it just completely died. Um, and I never got a steering wheel again until I bought Motorsport 4 and I got that wireless wheel. Um, which is a fucking brilliant bit of kit. And I actually should probably look and see if I can find it. Because if I can play, like, Forza Motorsport 4 with that wheel, that would be awesome. But yeah. That thing was brilliant. Oh, I've ruined this corner. Uh-oh. Oh, well. Sod it. We're miles ahead anyways for this race. According to our spreadsheet, uh, we're 45% of the way through the game. But according to the game, we're only 38% uh, of the way through or something like that. And according to time-wise, we're probably only about 20% <laughs> the way through, so. There's like three different percentages that I'm looking at and thinking, hmm. How complete is the game actually? <laughs> but then again, it's probably my fault because uh, the spreadsheet is designed only for events completed. It doesn't count every single individual race and I assume the game itself is working out every single race, so. <laughs> Here we go, lap number four, final lap. Fairly flat out through there. We are um, also running manual transmission for this as well. We're going to be running manual transmission for all the Forza games. Because uh, I am a manual person. I don't like automatic gearbox. They are... <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I feel like if I've got an automatic gearbox, it actually just makes me slower. Because I have no control over the gears. Like, because sometimes you'll go through a corner that's slow enough that it will drop down to second. And then you'll immediately have to shift again. So if I'm in manual, I can just stick it in third and it's actually faster. It's the same thing when you're a little bit too fast for a corner and Forza just won't shift down. Same story there. Not bad. 610. Probably going to be looking at about 630 when we cross the line. Maybe 635. I don't know. Might make 6.30. 6.31.2. Not bad. Uh, I'm not going to save that replay because we've got too much Sunset Peninsula ones. Okay. Blue Mountains Raceway. Ready? Tune. This song is actually a tune. I need to turn it up. So I can enjoy it. Enjoy the music while it lasts. The dreams. Oh! Lost the rear end there a little bit. Bosh spark plugs. How does someone actually come up with a name like Bosch for a company? Like, Bosch is in the saying Bish Bash Bosch. Like, and I don't even know what the saying even means. It's just like, ah, oh, Bish Bash Bosch, innit? 
<laughs> like what? Just bosh. Sounds like the sound you you make when you hit someone with a base bat, baseball bat, but in reverse. Like the b is the impact, and then the bosh is like the wind noise. <laughs> bosh. Yeah, it's a co it's a company that makes like spark plugs and kitchen appliances and shit like that. Yo, catboard, welcome. Oh, uh, I'm in the dirt. I'm in the gravel. Welcome to the stream. How are you today? Welcome everyone. If you guys feel like it, exclamation mark YT in the chat, and you'll actually be able to subscribe over on YouTube, and all these streams actually get put on um, YouTube. Ah! Mess it up. Cheers for that one, Aaron. Uh, I'm doing really good. I'm doing really good. Thank you so much for the follow, cat. And uh, yeah, thank you for asking. I'm having a good day so far. We're just uh, chilling on Forza Motorsport. I think I'm going to record about three or four YouTube videos today. So we'll get quite a bit of content. I think so far, episode one up to three at the time of recording is actually live on YouTube by now. But uh, the rest of the videos are there, so you can um, save them. I feel like I know your voice from somewhere. A lot of people say that they recognize my voice from other people. Like, I'm not famous or anything, like, millions of subs on YouTube, that kind of thing. So, I doubt my voice would be recognizable as my voice, but it might sound similar to other people's. I've had quite a few different names. A small person. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Back in like 2017 or 2018. What do you mean by that? Dreams. I did stream back in uh, 2017 and 2018, but then I uh, moved to... I think I was streaming 2016, 2017, something like that. Up to 2018 and then moved to YouTube late 2018. It could have been me. Could have been me. More than likely. Uh, and then I moved back to Twitch, and now I'm doing both. <laughs> the hell is this? Fuck that. Where's my music? Skip. It's a weird song. It, it, it doesn't suit my vibe. Yo, Spyfall, what's up? Welcome. How are you today? Bum, 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 bum. Everyone's getting a high on YouTube as well. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it in my life. I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Just uh, playing some old video games. Far Cry or something. Far Cry. I don't know. I don't think it would have been Far Cry because I don't think I actually played a Far Cry game until 2019 on YouTube. Um, I obviously played Far Cry 5 back in 2018, but I never streamed it. I don't think I was able to stream it at the time. I might have streamed it once or twice here and there. I don't... I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. It's quite a long time ago anyway, so... <laughs> memory's a bit blurry. Um, I mean, for the past four years, I've gone by as Mechanic CG. In fact, no, five years now. No. Yes. 
Five years I've been known as... No. It was September 2016. So yeah, five and a half years. My brain just had a seizure then. <laughs> Finished the law stream for my S&P went great. So yeah, fair enough, fair enough. No bad. No bad? I meant to say not bad, but I forgot the T. No, I, I just said fuck that corner, clearly. <laughs> yeah, I think more than likely. Oh yeah, so in um four months time, I will have been known as Mechanic CG for six years. That's crazy. Right, let's go. Silverstone. I'll probably grab a cup of tea or something. I'll I'll be hardcore British. I'll satisfy the stereotypes, as as they say. What do you do in your free time? Game. <laughs> I game on stream. I game in my free time. I game in my sleep. <laughs> I do a lot of it. Um, heavily addicted. Typically, though, in my in my free time, I'll watch stuff like YouTube. I'll watch Netflix shows, whatever. Um. Not quite Tetris. <laughs> I'm sort of a racing person, but I don't mind the odd RPG game or uh, first-person shooter, stuff like that. There's a wide variety of games that I like. If it's a AAA game, there's a 50-50 chance I'll like it. Because AAAs just tick the boxes for me. But yeah, I much prefer um, racing games if I can. Actually, that's a good shout. When is um, Grid Legends supposed to get the first DLC? I need to keep an eye on that. Also, uh, thank you for the posture check. It's kind of a bit difficult to keep my posture in check with this chair now because the backrest just does that. It just goes back and it doesn't come back up anymore. <laughs> so. <laughs> it doesn't work. Chair equals brokey. There we go, not bad. We're at five viewers at the moment, which is awesome. If you guys do want to uh, share the uh, content out, feel free to. Greatly appreciate it. Let's see if we can hit our daily goals for today. We need two more followers to hit the follower goal for the day. I love Nero. I don't know if I've said this enough on stream. But I love Nero. They are like one of the best British musicians, artists... I don't know if they're classed as an artist or a producer. Because technically speaking, they have a singer and they have a drummer. So... Say they're more a band... Than a producer. Or a duo. I don't know. We'll call them a band for the sake of it. I know what I'm doing in my free time tomorrow, so I am 100% editing a video. Tune, mate, in it. Oh, this is "Blinded by the Lights" Nero remix. This is like one of their most famous songs from uh, 2010. I thought I recognised this.
Heart beat. Heart's beating too quick. In it, lads. I'm tripping out. I'm going to fall down in it, lads. <laughs> this is brilliant. We got a 10 second lead, which is not too bad. Nearly lost the car on that corner there. Joe, I really would love to drive a car round a racetrack one day. Never driven a car around a racetrack in my life. I want to go to like an open track day or something. I think that'd be quite cool. But I don't know. Kind of don't have a car. Don't have a license. I'm pretty sure you need at least a driver's license to be able to uh, drive a car around a racetrack anyways. I'm not sure whether you need provisional or um, full license. I assume it would be full license. Because you need to be able to drive a car on your own, really. Not bad. Six minutes and one second. I'll take that. Okay, here we go. We got eight minutes of test track. We got four people in the chat. Let's go, lovely jubbly. I've got a crush, 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 crush. I found out. I've got a crush on you. Oh my god, come on. There we go. Nice, not bad. All right. That is such a tight and winding section of this track. It's ridiculous. Honestly, this just this track in general, I hate it with a passion because of how long it is. But I am kind of glad that they don't have this track appear at all until a lot later on in the game, like now. But I still feel like it's a little bit too early in the game to have this track because it is like eight... It's still a four and a half minute lap time. So you're looking at eight and a half minutes total race. Something like that. Oh, this is fucking disgusting. Oh, I've absolutely shafted it. Charming, I've got a lot of damage to deal with now. We found out. I've got a crush on you. My heart's been displayed. You found out. I've got a crush on you. Even with damage, this car's going to floor it. Anyways. I'm just not restarting the event. I can't be bothered. <laughs> this is like one of my... Probably my least favorite Forza Motorsport. Out of all of them. Just because of how horrible it is. It's not smooth. It's not a smooth experience at all. Motorsport 2 will probably get a lot of criticism from me as well. Hey yo, Shaolin, what's up? PX players on Fortnite can literally hack the victory crown, change wins, even enter custom text like touch grass. How on earth are they able to do that then? That's why I don't like Fortnite. It's just a broken mess. It always has been, always will be.
It's just a weird formula. Like, the amount of money that people spend on a free-to-play game... They spend more money on a free-to-play game than any paid game out there. But then go and complain when a game costs 50 quid. Like... Sorry, what? <laughs> yeah. I assume that they can't show people how to do that, because as soon as someone shows that, mayhem will ensue, which, fair enough. But also, it will get patched, so I think they've got two incentives to not show how it's done. Because if it gets patched, then they're done for. Because knowing companies like Epic Games, they'll put in, like, a bug or something. And if a player does a sequence of things, like, attempting those bugs, they'll probably get them banned anyways if they attempt it. Because let's be real, that's the kind of company that Epic Games is. Ready. Okay, this is going really bad. What's the world record then? Are you ready? Do you know? I feel it too. thousand wins. That doesn't seem unreasonable, to be honest. A thousand wins in Fortnite? That's just some kid that's got no life. Get two or three wins a day, you'll easily have a thousand in a year. You know. Do you know... This car is swerving like crazy. Because of the damage. Look, that is, this is me not turning. You see how far it goes across the inside. And I've just added it, made it worse. Look. Look, under braking, not even turning, and you can see how much the thing is pulling to the inside. That is ridiculous. So much damage. I hate this section of the track as well. I mean, I'll admit, the test track is perfect for testing cars, obviously. But here's the thing. it's So, it's testing going through a fast chicane and then coming through multiple 90 degree corners. Sure. We got that section. We've got a wiggly bit. Sure. But then you've got another fast chicane. Why have you got another fast chicane? Why have you got another hairpin turn there when you've done two hairpin turns? Okay, you could call that heavy braking. But like there's so many extra corners on this track that really were not needed when they made it. They could have had a good test track that was much shorter and much more enjoyable. Ouch. Shaolin, why are you punching the synth boss? <laughs> oh, well. You know, the funny thing is, it's probably going to take another month or so to kill Fallen as a synth boss. Which is funny. Because then... Yeah. <laughs> I've really got to work out a way to get the Simp Boss actually to work on YouTube so far. Because at the moment, I'm just... If anyone, like, super chats, super stickers, or channel memberships, whatever. They're just doing, like, the value of it as damage to the Simp Boss. So... Let myself go, let myself go, let myself go...
Oh, I remember this song. This is House Every Weekend. Nero Remix. This is a tune. And what did I say? Eight and a half minutes earlier on? And here we are. Eight and a half minutes. 8.31. House Every Weekend. Right. Replay saved. 18 grand. Give me that. Let's go. Find out what car we got. Mitsubishi Sparco Lancer Evo. That is beautiful. I will take that. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.